Hey, Mark here from Memory Lane Transfers. And a question I get asked a lot is, is it really a big difference between 30 frames and 60 frames per second? And let me tell you, uh, in my opinion, there definitely is a difference. And that's really where 60 frames per second comes in. Um, it's a smoother product because bottom line, VHS is what it is. It's 480 lines of resolution. I don't care what anyone tells you, you're not gonna improve on that. You cannot get more than what it is. However, you can capture it to a better degree, if that makes sense to some of you, um, which I wanna show you what I mean. So behind me on that screen is uh, the same video, 30 frames and 60 frames, and I wanna show you what I mean uh, when the capture process is done differently. So let's just go to the video and I could better show it to you in person that way. Okay, so we're here right now and I have one side with 30 frames per second, the other side with 60 frames per second. The video is gonna start in a moment and then I'm gonna have it stop because I want you to see something in this example. Don't you see here on the 30 frame per second side, when paused, it looks blurry, out of focus, and that's because we have two frames acting as one. Um, whereas the 60 second, uh, 60 frame per second side uh, is a smoother. Now, when we're in motion like this, uh, relatively, you can't tell the difference. I mean, um, it is good. 30 frames per second is nice, but not when there's extreme motion um, and everything. Plus, you have to remember, you're looking at this on a computer screen, not on a TV, which is really where you see the huge difference. Anyway, uh, in this next example, you're going to see what I mean by motion blur. Okay, and coming up in just a moment, the video is going to freeze. Okay, right here on purpose. And you'll see, see the blurriness on the 30 frame per second side? That wasn't done intentionally. That's what happens with interlaced frames. Um, and on the 60 frame per second side, although slightly blurry, you can see how much clearer it is. Um, I have one more example to show you after that. And this will probably just be, there's another example of interlaced footage versus uh, de-interlaced. And bottom line, like I said, we can't improve VHS. It is what it is, but we can change the capture process so that it's a lot more visual, visually enjoyable, because that's what we're all looking for. Look here on the slightest thing, 30 frame per second side, because it's interlaced. You have those jagged edges, you have some blurriness. 60 frame per second, same videotape, but when we de-interlace, that's the result that we get. And again, I'd like to reiterate that 30 frames per second is good, but I just feel, and I'm sure you do too, after seeing this demonstration, that 60 frames per second does offer a bit better in quality, a bit better in smoothness. And since there is no way to improve the quality of VHS at the moment, what we can do is ensure that we capture it 110 percent the best that we can so that we get the best possible quality for years to come so here we are sorry for the change in lighting it's now nighttime since i made that but you get the idea what i'm talking about um so what i'm going to do is i i, I want to do this because i really want you to understand the difference and as you would get it so what I want you to do is if you have your app on a TV or a Roku box, look up this video, bring it up there, and I am going to put 30 seconds of each demo video on the end of this video right after me talking right now. Um, so I'm going to do that. And this way you watch it on your TV and you could see for yourself how 60 frames look full screen if you got it converted by us and if you had 30 frames done. But listen to me, I don't, I'm not downing any companies per se or whatever. This is how you gotta look at it. VHS was optimized and made 40 years ago, actually longer, 45, but for argument's sake, let's just say 40, okay? And in that time period and the 40, and 40 years ago, which was the 80s, all TVs were tube TVs. For my generation, if you remember, we had horizontal lines in those TVs. So that was interlaced footage. footage. 
that was it was perform. It, it, that's how interlaced footage was broadcasted, and therefore VHS was optimized. That's why we used to see a beautiful, crystal clear picture because it was being recorded as thirty interlaced frames, and it was also being played back on a tube TV, which was designed for interlaced frames. Today. Our beautiful 4K TVs that 80% of us have, even the 1K TVs, are all based on progressive frames. So that's where the 60 frames come into play. All we're doing is optimizing the capture process so that we get the best picture possible on today's TVs that you're going to be doing it. That's all we're modifying um, because that's what you want. This is one time. You know, you have, you're running out of time to convert these things. You are going to run out. And if you do have one time left to convert it to digital, do it with the best that you can. You know, yes, we can improve it. Yes, there's some software and you could play around with video upgrading. You want to spend the 300 bucks, go right ahead. But initially capturing, you can't add resolution. You just can't. But. We can do everything we can to get the best possible capture. So with that being said, I hope this educated some of you. And I will put the 30 frame per second first. And then I will put the 60 frame per second afterwards. It's only going to be 30 seconds of each one. I'm not going to bore you guys. There won't be any sound because it was private conversation of someone out of family. Anyway, but you'll see the quality difference when it comes to the picture. And I will use what's the same clips here, but we'll just blow it up um, to what you would get if you sent your tapes to us. Sound good? Thank you for taking the time. I hope this benefited you. And uh, we'll see you at the next video.